More than 200 Alabamians have lost their lives to this pandemic just over the span of the last seven days. Healthcare professionals say that a lot of this loss can be stopped with one simple move, getting vaccinated. Officials in Decatur spoke on this today and our Nixon Norman tells us more. As of this morning, 74 COVID patients were receiving care at Decatur Morgan Hospital. Many of them were unvaccinated. 16% of our total 74 are vaccinated, 84% are not. So who are these patients? You may be shocked to find out that the age range is wide and that many of them haven't even made it to their 70s. So I've got three that are in their 90s, two that are in their 80s, 15 that are in their 70s, 27 people in their 60s, 8 in their 50s, 9 in their 40s, 9 in their 30s, and 1 in their 20s. So of the 74 hospitalized, you can see they're not a lot of elderly people. Matter of fact, 20 or 70 or greater. Powers says the vaccine is a lifesaver and that if it was a vaccine for anything other than the very politicized coronavirus, many people would hop right in line. You know, I know people who've had cancer. I know people who have, um, you know, other diseases. They would love a vaccine. If we had a vaccine for cancer, do you not think everybody would sign up for that? I would, you know. Um, so it's the same thing. If you could just get this shot, then it would keep you from dying. Just to build on what Kelly just said, if we came out today with a vaccine that would give you a 91.5% chance of not dying with cancer, we would have people wrapped around the county um, wanting to get that vaccine. Glenn also says it's important to really think about where you are getting your information from, especially when it comes to decision making about whether or not to get the vaccine. Please don't get your medical um, advice from late night TV shows, from talk shows on the radio. Um, please ask your health care professional. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.